it's Sophie. For today's video, I decided to start a new series on my channel called Paint With Me. Well, basically, I talk about certain things or certain topics or Q and A's. Today, obviously, by the title, you can tell that I'm gonna be talking about my goals and resolutions for this year, but just while I paint, because it makes it more interesting. And also, I've just been wanting to paint more. I think the last time I painted was for a DIY video. I just like paint brushes. <laughs> So it's been a while. It's been a pretty long time. Hopefully you guys like the series. If you want me to continue doing this, just let me know. Earlier today, I went to Michael's and I got some canvas, some paint, paint brushes. If you are not subscribed, don't forget to do that. Also, I don't know if you guys know that I have other social media other than YouTube. Definitely follow my Instagram and my Twitter because your sis is actually active. Like, I'm for real actually active. I've said that a bunch of times, but I am. It's just at Sophie Ming underscore and you can follow that. And yeah, that is basically it. And without further ado, let's get to painting. So I just want to reiterate the fact that I don't paint. Please don't have high expectations. I'm literally only working with four colors here. So let's see what your sis is able to do. My very first resolution that I have is to take myself out on more dates and just spend more time with myself. When I say take myself out on more dates, that's literally what I mean. I think it's important, and I think that prior to 2018, I wasn't doing that at all, and 2018 was when I was really learning how to be by myself and spend time with myself, but I don't actually think I took the push and fully did it. In 2019, I'm taking that push. Appreciating time with myself, I think that that is so important. I just wanna get to a point where my personal happiness does not come from external forces or like people that are not me, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm almost there. Like today, I literally took myself out on a date to a Chinese restaurant and it was great. It was genuinely amazing. I was very happy. I was happy about that. You know what? I'm just gonna draw some shapes. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw some shapes. I was genuinely very happy being in my own company and being by myself. And I also had to turn off my phone as well. When you are spending time alone but you're on your phone, on social media or talking to other people are you truly by yourself cuz you know what I mean you're not you're not really by yourself so I turned off my phone and I enjoyed my lunch and it was amazing I really I was very happy Bitch, this might just be a masterpiece. By the way, I don't even have an easel. Your sis decided to get technical, and I'm using my old, uh, when I used to play guitar, I had a stand, and this is my guitar stand. So that's what this is sitting on, and my guitar stand is sitting on my red stool. Sis is getting technical out here. Ooh, or I could like draw shapes and then have other colors within those shapes. My second resolution is to not let anybody disturb my peace, which is something that I really genuinely and truly need to work on this year like I, I very much so need to work on that I feel like in 2018 I had such a need to not please everyone I'm a very sensitive person so things that people would do to me would affect me immensely like I would just be so affected by other people's actions and other people's attitudes and other people's words whatever it was I would be very affected by it um not anymore bitch not anymore and it's obviously something that doesn't happen when the clock strikes 12 like honestly the clock striking 12 on January 1st 2019 did absolutely nothing for me there are people that will be like January 1st all of y'all getting cut off da -da -da -da. like it's not as easy as that sounds like hold on one sec because I washed off my brush to use a new color but I need something to wipe it off on Oh my god, sister is a real artist. Okay, we're back. Like I was saying, you can't make life changes in a matter of minutes. Like that's just, it's just not realistic. 12 a.m. on January 1st, 2019, obviously you're the same person that you were minutes prior, but you have changes to make. That is definitely a big thing that I wanna do, which is to not let other people disturb my peace to the extent that my peace was disturbed in 2018. Like, I'm just not doing that anymore. I'm just not gonna do it. For what it's worth, the biggest thing that I learned in 2018 towards the end of that year was that you can't control what happens to you. You can only control how you react to it. And that was honestly such good advice that I needed to hear. I can't control the way that somebody feels about me or what somebody does to me or how somebody thinks of me or what somebody says to me, but I can control how I react to it and in 2019, I'm not reacting to it. This takes so much concentration. Shit, painting is hard. Resolution number three, I think that we all need this one, is to get more sleep. I feel like part of the reason why I was stressed throughout 
90% um, of 2018 was because I wasn't getting enough sleep. I was just drawing a circle and I definitely meant for that circle to be bigger than it is. Damn it! Call me Bob Ross, bitch. But I honestly feel like I'm at a point now in the year, not even really 2019, but just like my school year, the remainder of my school year, which happens to be in 2019. If my assignment is not done, but I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. That's not my attitude either. Like that isn't my attitude um, in terms of school. I can see what not getting enough sleep has been doing to me mentally and it's not pretty, like it's not cute. If I have an essay to do, but it is 11 p.m. and I'm getting sleepy, I'm going to bed. Like it's, <laughs> it is really that simple. I definitely need to procrastinate less. Procrastination is honestly a very real thing. Like a lot of people struggle with procrastination where it's like you know, the thing about procrastination is like you don't forget that you have to do something. So people who procrastinate, they don't forget like, oh, I have to complete this assignment. They don't forget it. It's just like, they just don't do it. <laughs> they will come up with like five other things that they could be doing rather than what they actually have to be doing, which I am guilty of. And this year, I will take steps to no longer be that way. Like, for example, I procrastinated on filming this video. So, I'm sorry about that. You guys are probably gonna see this final product and be like, what the hell is that, Sophie? Let me know if you actually enjoy me doing this because I feel like I'm not being very attentive towards you guys, if that makes sense. But then I felt like this might make the video a little bit more interesting where I'm painting during the video and talking to you guys and then when I'm done, I show you my masterpiece. Next is to spend less time on my phone. I will wake up in the morning and the first thing that I do is check my phone. I want to stop doing that. Maybe like get up and make a cup of tea or just like start my day quicker, which will also make me feel more productive if the first thing that I do in the morning is get out of bed and not spend an extra half an hour on my phone. I just cannot paint for the life of me. My hands keep shaking. I know Apple introduced this thing where like they will tell you how many hours that week you spent on your phone, which I think is very helpful. At first I was tight. I was like, really, you're gonna like remind me how much I use my phone, but it's actually helpful because this way can keep myself accountable. Like my first resolution, taking myself out more and spending more time with myself. The time that I spend with myself, I don't want it to be spent on my phone. Even including like watching Hulu or Netflix. Like I just want to be present with myself. I Whether that's me writing, me reading, me painting, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, another thing that I wanna do, I literally think I said this in the beginning of 2018. Oh my God, I just got paint on my sweatpants. That's great. Meet new people. I kind of fell off, you know, after the summer ended. So I didn't, I that resolution just like failed completely for me because I just didn't complete it. This shape right here is getting me tight. Like everything else is working, but then this one, this stupid ass circle. I feel like we will naturally become very accustomed to the humans that we're around and like people that we spend all of our time with. Sometimes it's nice to meet new people and to talk to new people and to make new friends. I know I mentioned this in a video um, where I was talking about, what was it? I'm pretty sure it was freshman advice. The people in your school don't have to be your only friends. And I had to recently remind myself about that, which, and it's so true. I'm about to graduate, like I'm about to leave my school and as far as it's looking, I don't know that I'm gonna be keeping in touch with with a lot of the people when I leave. I would be good at like painting a wall or painting a ceiling, like painting something that's all one color where I don't have to like paint an actual work of art. Like what I'm painting is just all one solid color. Like I would be so good at that. I would paint the shit out of that wall. Resolution number seven is to secure my bag. This year, honestly, I'm very much focused on making money and securing my duffel. Like it's really that, it's really that simple. Whether that be like through photography or YouTube or modeling, I just enjoy making money, as should anybody. Oh my gosh, number eight, stop trying to control everything and everyone. <laughs> I have a very bad habit of trying to control every single situation that I'm in. <laughs> Whether it be controlling how people feel about me, it's mainly controlling how people feel about me. Or just like in general, trying to control situations that I just have no control over. And it's not even uncommon. Like I feel like as humans, we naturally like to have control over 
over things. Like we just like to feel like we're in control, but that's just not always the case. There are some things that you can't control. One of them being how people feel about you. I will personally feel so much better in the end when I stop stressing myself trying to control a situation that I'm in. I didn't realize that I would have to try to have this done by the end of the video, but we're going to attempt. I feel like we've definitely got to a point in this video where it is just extensively long. So I feel like I'm gonna end it here. So those are all of my New Year's resolutions for 2018. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below one of your New Year resolutions. And without further ado, time to present my masterpiece, which is still drying by the way, but here she is. Bitch. This looks ugly on camera. Definitely need to work on my shading, as we can see right here. I also need to work on painting in general. Comment down below what you think of me turning this into a series. If you guys think that my sit down and talking videos, like advice videos and things like that would be more interesting. But yeah, that's basically it. And that is it for this video. I love you all very much. And I will see you this Tuesday with another video. Bye. I think that I've been dead since the start Haven't felt too much inside my heart But I don't even care no more